Saturday? Well, I'm just, glad, uh, just uh, happy to have him back. Uh, he's been one of our leaders, so just happy to have him back. On your interception late in the fourth quarter against CC, did you did you see anything that led you to jump? That was a great jump you had on that. Uh, did you see anything that led you to that? Um, just it was just one of the plays, you know, just be, being a playmaker, you know, solid that solo was out, and just being a playmaker, you know, solid to come up the hands. That was that. Well, you kind of came in under the radar as a recruit. How how have you developed since you got? Uh, just until you just get better every day, you know. I wasn't that big time star coming out of high school, but I just knew that I could compete with all the guys that's here. I think it kind of gave you a chip on your shoulder at all coming out of high school? Uh, yeah, it gave me a big chip, you know, but sometimes I, I, I blame myself most of the time because I didn't really do anything to get me out there. So. I think hard, hard not to look past this game to Penn State next week. Um, how do you keep your focus on Tulane and um, kind of try to take your sights off of the Nittany Lions and on the Green Wave? Uh, just. You just gotta worry about the, uh, the now. Worry about when the moment now. Doug, you want to jump in? What are we doing? What are we, doing? we got Malik Harrison here. Malik Harrison. He had an interception to ice the TCU win. Is that yeah. right? That's great. So you are um, describe your responsibilities, especially when you guys are in the nickel. Right? It seems like you and Pete and Baron. Or sort of the nickel linebackers, yeah. but you're on the field a lot, especially for them. Why are you out there so much at nickel? Why did they trust you out there? Uh, just how last year I was the nickel linebacker last year, so I'm more comfortable out there. You know, uh, that's what I just play out in space. What are what are the skills that you have to have to be a good nickel linebacker? Uh, just speed, uh, just knowing what's going to come. You know, uh, we got different play, so being able to rush. Yeah. How comfortable are you? Um, I'm very right? comfortable. Uh, okay. Since last year, I wasn't, I don't think I was comfortable. Okay. At, the, at times, but I feel like I'm more comfortable this year. You know, just out there doing a little bit. Okay. Um, you guys, it looked like in the second half, a little bit against TCU, you were in nickel, sometimes on first and second down, yeah. right, just to match up with uh -huh. what they're doing personnel-wise. How did that work, did you think? Uh, it worked perfectly, you know. They got a lot of uh, speed uh, on the edges, so we didn't really want us to get out there and really try to uh, cover our, uh, their speed. So we just went out there and get an extra uh, DB out there. We know, I mean, you've got to be able to play against every kind of offense, yeah, right? Uh, and when you play against Iowa or Wisconsin or teams like that, that's different than playing against TCU or Penn State or somebody yeah. else, right? But especially in a game like that, and you're going to see more offenses like yeah. that this year. Is that you? Like, do you really? Because I know you can play against everybody. But if it's like, all right, Malik, we got to have some guys who can cover some fast guys out here. How comfortable are you with that? I think I'm uh, very comfortable. You know, we got guys like uh, Paris Campbell, you know, John Dixon, you know, guys that's speed like that that I cover out here in practice. Okay. So, uh, you know, I go against it every day, so I, I think I'll be very comfortable. All right, I got to ask about this on the 93 yard touchdown. Did you make a step inside that you shouldn't have made? Was that a read? Was it just, it uh, looked just, like one little thing and the guy, boom, was gone. Uh, just a little missing assignment that we had. Uh, not really, just the way that our scheme is, one little thing that we miss leads to that. So. Right. Is that, is that life? Does that drive you crazy that like one little thing can lead to a big play? Uh, or do you just have to understand, well, that happens sometimes. You know, sometimes it just happens, but at the end of the day, that we have to get our assignment done. Okay. And I'm not sure. I'm just trying yeah. to learn about yeah. the play, uh -huh. right? I'm not yeah. trying to. You guys did what you needed uh -huh. to do. You're a very good football player. Yeah. Did you do something wrong on that play? Uh, you know, it was just, no. No. There's other responsibilities. Maybe a guy should have been in a spot, or a, or a guy should have. It's just like everybody filling yeah. their job uh -huh. on yeah. that play. Yeah. Because okay. you know, because it looks like because you have a little step. And, Right? Mm -hmm. You went a little bit like this and the guy went there and then there was nobody there. But yeah. you're saying probably somebody should have been there yeah. outside. Yeah, it's just a little missing side of the Okay. Like I said, that uh, leads to big things. Right, right.